All right, welcome back. We've got another episode here. Uh, we just learned how to do uh, swing turns and point turns, and now I want to show you guys how to do uh, functions. We talked about variables, we've talked about motor setups, we've talked about uh, the platform type and how to get uh, to Robot C and everything and how to get everything opened up. And now we're going to put a lot of that together and we're going to learn how to write uh, functions. Now, for our purposes, a function is simply going to be a part of code that you might want to use over and over again. For instance, a point turn or a swing turn may be something that you would want to do several times. So, functions are specified like variables outside of the task main. Um, so, I'm going to put in void. That is the command for specifying a function. And then you get to call it whatever you want. Now, the first one I'm going to do is move forward. And then you put parentheses there, and then a curly brace, and then a closing curly brace. And anything I put in here will be executed as code anytime you reference move forward down in your code. Uh, for instance, we have a move forward here and, uh, and then wait three seconds. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to cut it out, and I'll put it up here. Now, this doesn't run. When you run the program, this doesn't run unless you tell it to. The program starts at task main. And so right now we have it, it's just going to start by waiting for three seconds. But I want it to move forward. Now, after you create one of these, uh, one of these functions up here, I want you to click Compile Program. And there is a reason for that. And you'll notice I have an error it's saying unreferenced uh, function. That means that I have a function there, but I'm not using it. So it's saying, hey, you don't really need that because you're not using it. Uh, but I'm not using it yet. So right here, now I'm going to say move. And now you notice, since I compiled, it'll actually show the function that I created in a little drop down. And so all I have to do is push enter. I have to still have to put those little parentheses, and that's it. So now anytime I put move forward, it's going to turn on the left motor, full power, and the right motor, at full power. And so I don't think I have any other move forward in any of these other places. Um, but right now, just like in the last video, we saw the robot. It moved forward for three seconds, and uh, then it stopped. And we do have a lot of stop motors going on. So anytime I want to stop a motor, I have to type in all the motors that I want to stop. And as you saw in the last video, that actually kind of messed me up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put one, another function in right now. I just type void again. Stop all motors. And I'm going to call my function stop all motors like that. And then an opening curly brace and a closing curly brace. And anything I put in there, and you know what? I'm not going to call it stop all motors because I have more than just those motors. I'm going to say stop drive motors. So instead of this, all right, I'll click compile program. That way it shows up. Okay, I'm going to say, oops, I need to put something in there. There we go. Okay. Now I have stop drive motors is going to stop both of those motors. So stop drive motors. Just like that. Now, so it's going to move forward, wait three seconds while it moves forward. So it's going to turn those on and then it's going to uh, stop the drive motors. All right, let's just give that a shot and see what happens. All right, push play and driving forward three seconds. All right, and then it's going to go through the rest of our code that we put in. Um, 
So now I want to specify a couple of more uh, functions that I can use. So I'm going to set up my my point turns, so or my swing turns first. So I'm going to do void, uh, let's say right or left. Let's start with a right swing turn. Right swing turn and then curly braces. Got to use all the correct formatting. And now I'm going to go down here where I have my swing turns and I have my right swing turn right there. And I'm going to even include the stop motor. And I'm going to cut that out and put it right there. All right, now it might be a good idea to show you uh, if I'm not running the program in the backyard, back, background, there's a link here called Fix Formatting. It's really cool. And you'll notice that like my right swing term function right now is not quite spaced right. If you just click Fix Formatting, it does it for you. And then everything is nice and formatted neatly. Okay. So I have my right swing turn. I took that stuff out of down, down here. Uh, remember, once you add a function, click Compile Program, uh, and then that way it shows up down here. Um, so right now, the way that my program is running is I have a move forward for three seconds, stop drive motors, and then I want to wait uh, for, I don't know, let's say a second. And then I want to do a right swing turn. All right, and the time for my right swing turn is already programmed because that's going to be a 90 degree turn. That's how I, how I already programmed it. So I don't even need to have a wait, but I'm after it's done moving, I'm going to have it wait just doing nothing for another second. And then, you know what, I think I'll go ahead and move forward because I have that command. And I'm going to move forward for, let's say, uh, two seconds. And then I'm going to stop the drive motors. There we go. And then I'm going to wait, let's say, 90 seconds. I'm going to stop it before we get done. So I'm going to download the robot and see what happens. Oh, what happened here? It said code. There's an error. Aha! I forgot. You have to put your parentheses here when it's a function. So good thing it caught it. So download the robot and let's run our code and see what happens. So we should move forward for three seconds and then wait for a second and then do a right swing turn and then wait for a second and then move forward for two seconds and then stop. So forward for one, two, three, wait, do a right swing turn. Of course, we're gonna freeze up. Do a left swing turn, and okay. So we had some glitch and let's try it again. Okay, and we're going forward and then we're gonna do a right swing turn. Yeah, it works. It's just we don't have a very good frame right now. Right now, and then uh, left swing turn. Oh no, we just did a right swing turn. Okay. All right. So now you can see I could easily just change. I could do a left swing turn. So I could copy that function right there and paste, and then just change that to a left a left swing turn. And instead of the left motor, this would be the right motor. All right, and then stop motor, right motor, and that's it right there. Now I have a left swing turn, and you, you can do all of this uh, anytime you have a left, you know, another swing turn. So then right down here, I could say um, move, move forward, and then wait two seconds, for instance, and then I could do a... Uh, left swing turn. So it's not showing there because I didn't compile. But if, as long as you're sure, you're, you're sure you know what the actual command is, then you go ahead and just type it out normal and left swing, swing turn and then download the robot 
And now it's going to do a left tw sing swing turn for 90 seconds. So let's just see. So we go forward for three seconds. Then we do a right swing turn. And then we go forward for what, like a second, two seconds. And then we do a left swing. <laughs> and then we, we died. All right. So I think you guys get the point. Uh, you can see that it's much easier to write code uh, and to tell the robot to do certain behaviors when you have all the complex stuff uh, already up here in the functions and that way you don't have to rewrite all of this gobbledygook constantly. You can just have a very nice clean program looks just like that and then you would say maybe stop drive motors and then oh you still have to have these and then done all right and so as you go on as you go on you can you can add more or you can add more functions and really the point is of the functions is if it's something you're going to use over and over and over again like moving forward you might as well create a function for it and that way you've got that or stopping the drive motors since you're going to probably do that a lot um, this is going to really help you write good code if you use it right. And don't forget to make your comments. All right, I think that's about it. So far, we've covered uh, a bunch of stuff in Robot C. We've covered how to uh, go straight with a basic program. We've learned how to do right and left point turns and right and left uh, swing turns, uh, how to program them, how to set up variables with uh, for an integer, uh, how to set up a, a function and then how to set up uh, a program using uh, reference to functions. And so if you've gotten this far and you've, you're comfortable with this, wow, you have done an amazing job. And, uh, and if you haven't gotten all of this yet, don't fret. It is a lot of stuff to learn. And uh, you can go back through this video over and over. And you can also go back through any of the previous videos to help you. Uh, and I just, I really hope that you're able to get further and further.